Welcome to Joy Junk Teak. I'm Rhonda, and I'm just so glad that you stopped by today. In today's video, I will be showing you how I made this beautiful embossed paper using toilet paper. And there are a lot of videos out there that show different ways of doing this, but today by request, I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'll be adding some tissue paper and glitter and coffee dye avocado dye, different things to give you different effects, all using embossing folders. So um, I hope it inspires you and I hope you enjoy it. And let's just get started. Okay, so I'm set up with my cuddle bug and my plates and some tissue paper. I have some toilet paper and I have a bunch of my um, embossing folders here, some that uh, also die cut and some that are just plain. So um, I thought I would show you how simple it is to make um, all of the the textured embossed toilet paper and it's just lots of fun. You can do all kinds of techniques. Um, I've just kind of played around with it. So I'm just going to start out with, I think this is Angel Soft. So I'm just going to start out just layering it. And I usually do three or four layers depending on what look I'm going for or what I need it for. If I need a little thicker, then I'll go four. So just take it like that. And then I just take a water spritz bottle. I also have some uh, avocado dye. And I have some coffee in this spray bottle. So I'm going to do a few different effects. I'm going to move this tissue paper so I don't wet it. But I'm just going to take and... I kind of go ahead and lay it on my plate that as my base plate and depending on your embossing folder I just have to kind of see what works with each one so I may have to take some stuff away so it's not quite so thick or I may have to add some stuff to make it thicker as it goes through the um, cuddle bug and I've had these plates forever so they look like they've been through the ringer but you know that's okay because they work Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is after I lay that down, so I'm just gonna spritz it and I wanna make sure that I have it on the spray setting, not the stream, which is what I just did. So make sure you have it on the spray setting, not the stream, and just lightly mist it. I like to get mine pretty good, not soaking, but pretty good and saturated. And then, and you wanna make sure that your top is pulled down just a tad from the seam up here so that it doesn't fold. So then once you get that ready, then you're just gonna lay it down and put it good and tight. And I layer my plates here with the, some paper towels. I just kind of fold them up to fit, do two or three layers of it. And that way, if any water does seep out the sides, then it catches it. And I have tried this with less water, but it seems like with the pattern on the toilet paper, it doesn't always um, necessarily, you know, completely take the, the design in the embossing folder unless I have it a little bit more wet. So that's why I'm doing that. And so when we get through here, and you have a nice clean cut, and then I just gently remove it and lay it aside. Sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through, so I might should have run it through one more time, but I'm just gonna kind of pull it on this one so that you can get the effect, and then I'll fix it later if it needs it. Sometimes you can actually just cut on that little line when it's dry, and it's fine. So there's the effect you get. So once it dries, then this is what you'll have. So not bad, looks pretty good. It's, it's a little thin, so I think I did do this one with three layers just like I did this one. So, you know, depending on how flexible you need it or how thick you need it, then um, you can go more layers if you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove this. Um, let's try another. So let's just do one that does not 
need anything else. And this is a bigger embossing folder. I think this is a five by seven. So of course your toilet paper is not this big. So what I do is you can either layer it side to side or you can go up and down either way. Or you can do both actually. So I think I'm gonna cover the base and drop that down off the edge up there. So I'm gonna cover it like this and then I'm gonna come back and overlap that a little bit there. I just wanna make sure that all sections have a good thickness to them. And sometimes that involves going off the edge of it. But I'll show you how to fix that once we get it wet. So then I just kind of keep coming back until I feel like it's a good thickness all over. And one more right here. So that's, that's close. Okay, so then I'm gonna take and spritz it again. I'm gonna spritz past the edge a little bit so that then once I get it in my folder good, then I can just kind of tear off the excess and that's how we get rid of that. I'm gonna drop that down a little bit, fold it over, and then I'm gonna hold it and just kind of let that tear off that edge right there. It doesn't have to be exactly on the edge. In fact, sometimes I like it if it's not because then you get that nice little, um, just kind of a handmade paper look on the edge. So you just go around it and just kind of tear that. And if it's not wet enough, then you can just spritz the edge again. And that way it'll be easy to tear. So just get rid of that off the edge there. Let's see if that works. If not, I may have to put a little bit more thickness in it to build it up a little bit. Okay. So there, there we have it. And it looks really nice. So then I just set these aside to dry. So why don't I show how I did the tissue paper? Because I really enjoyed that one too. So this is a Tim Holtz one. Um, some of the others are Anna Griffin, the ones with the dyes, they're Anna Griffin. And this one was just a cuddle bug one. It's the fabric swatches. So I have tons of embossing folders. I did not realize I had that many till I started using them again. And it's like, girl, you have a problem. But I do love embossing. And I used to do a whole lot more of it than I have lately, but I wanna get back to it again because I really like it. So I'm just going to keep moving out from it. And it may not have exactly the same thickness on the outside, but it's at least staggered so that um, it, it tends to make it feel or, and look like it's even, even if it's not. Let's see. I'm gonna go out of here, and I'm gonna go out of here, and then I'll put one more in the middle. So for this one, I'm gonna um, put the tissue paper on the top, and on another one, I'll do it underneath, and you can see the difference. Let's use this one. It's like a cream color, and it's just I like that I'm gonna to try to match it the best I can with this design. So let's do it like right here. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it there. And that way the cream color will mostly be on the design part and kind of look like a crochet, just an old dolly. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it. And um 
sometimes I go ahead and spritz the toilet paper first and I probably should have done that because it's kind of hard to get the toilet paper saturated when you're going through the, the tissue paper. So I usually go ahead and spritz that first. And then I'll come back and put this on top and spritz it. But it's already wet from my little mistake, my forgetfulness. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and just drop it down a little bit. It kind of moves on me, so I always have to check it when I go to close it. And let's slide it over just a tad. Like that. Okay, so now this is a really thick embossing folder, so I don't know that it's gonna go through there like that. So let me go ahead and get rid of some of this. It's just to keep it from being so, um, so much hanging out of your, your machine over here. Okay, there's a little another, another little piece that is sneaking on there. All right. And I forgot to say, I put a towel down just to catch all the water that I'm spraying. So that is underneath me, which makes it good in one way, but kind of hard in others. You see how the, the tissue paper kind of blends with the toilet paper? And so we end up with this and you can coffee use the coffee on it too if you want it to look kind of stained so let's try that we'll do another one just like this so let's see what that looks like so I'm just gonna start laying my toilet paper back down and it's really fun just to kind of play with all the things that you have because you know um, you could even mix up some of your your inks in a bottle with some water and spritz it. Um, you know, anything that you use to color your paper with. I'm sorry, I'm really shattered with it being nighttime. But at least um, it's just kind of a process and you don't have to really see a lot of colors on this. Okay, so I've layered my toilet paper and let's go ahead and spritz it. I'll do a little water first and then I'm going to turn around and do coffee just to kind of age the coloring on it a little bit. And so I'm going to put my tissue paper down. And then I'm going to add some more coffee. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this. Pull off this extra. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on top and run it through. And there is our coffee dyed. Not bad. It's not a lot of difference, it's just a little subtle difference. And I think as it dries, you'll be able to see it more. And a lot of times you can see the coffee better without the colored tissue paper. So keep that in mind too. So we'll do another coffee one um, without the colored tissue paper and on a different, in a different embossing folder. But I just love this one. Let's do this one. It is by Gemini and it's just got such a pretty design. So I think this was one of my favorites. Okay, so on this one, let's just try the coffee dive. I hope y'all can see well enough. I'm so sorry it's shattered. Just doing a little bit of late night videoing. Okay, so now let's just do the coffee on this one. Just coffee. 
They kind of spritz it pretty good to saturate this with this little spritz bottle. Okay, and you can kind of see the discoloring there. So I'm going to go ahead and push it down. Kind of pull the edges. Press that a little more. So I like to put the towel down because it kind of catches all of my overspray and I'm not just saturating my desk. All right, so now, and I usually get a little neater than this, but I guess because I'm hurrying, it's kind of looking rough. And I like it as tight as I can get it without tearing up my cuddle bug over here. And so there, I don't know if you can see that. And actually, I should have done it this way. So this one is what you would think would be the top is actually reversed on this one. So you just have to kind of learn your embossing folders to kind of figure out which side is going to be the top. Then you can add whatever tissue paper or colors that you want to that side so that you can make sure it comes out on that side. So if that's the case and you have some little spots that don't look like they look natural, then you can always just kind of spritz it and it'll blend it right in. So there's that one. And these dry fairly quick. So um, they're pretty, pretty easy. They don't take that long. And you can always put your little heat gun out and dry them. I would just do it on a lower setting so you don't blow the pieces apart. And here is another one of my little Tim Holtz cutting dies, the little border. So let's do one of those, because it's super simple. So this one I just put several layers. And actually, I think I even folded it so I wouldn't waste my toilet paper. And you could buy cheap toilet paper for this, I'm sure. You'll just have to kind of learn what works best for the cheaper brands, um, how to go about it so that it's you know, not falling apart on you when you get it in here. I did buy the cheap brand one time and uh, it worked fine too, but you just have to, just have to kind of gauge everything else around the fact that it's thinner and cheaper. Play with it and kind of experiment a little bit. Okay, so this one's gonna actually have like six layers because it's three pieces doubled. And let's do the avocado on this one. It's not a lot of difference in this in the coffee, but you just kind of get a little bit more of that um, pinky peach tone to it. All right. So let me run it through. And so that did really good. Pretty sure. You can just peel it off. If it won't, then you can carefully peel it off. And then there is your little design. And they hold up really good. So I really like how they turn out. They look a lot like handmade paper. Um, so they give that look to it. But I'm not really one that knows how to make handmade papers. So I just buy it from other people or I will make the toilet paper kind. So, okay, so this one has hearts and it's by the cuddle bug. It's called Cross My Heart. So let me, um, let me get some toilet paper for this one. And this one I'm gonna kind of play with the different tissue paper. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. This one I'm gonna play with some glitter and show you how I added just some little iridescent glitter and it turned out so pretty. So it's just all, you know, whatever you want it to be and just have some fun experimenting and seeing what all you can come up with. There's so much that you can add to stuff to make it your own or to come up with a different look about it. So, it really, the sky's the limit on what you can do with this. 
and this fits it. And then I have some Martha Stewart, but you can use any kind you have. I just like this because it's super fun. And I've had this for years and never have used it. So now's the time. So I used to be a big Martha Stewart crafts fan. Bought a lot of her stuff. A little fuzzy. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. And then I'm going to take and spritz one more time just to kind of get that glitter to stay. And then I'll pull this down a tiny bit. Alright, so let's run it through. Okay, so that was not hot enough. So I'm going to have to get me something. I just kind of keep old junk mail and... You just have to make sure it doesn't get caught in your the top of your machine. You could even put it in between. But I just keep the junk mail sometimes just to add layers in my, when I'm embossing and stuff. If it's tight enough, you only have to run it through once. But if it's not as tight as, you know, where you can tell it's really pushing hard, then I usually run it through a couple times. All right, so let's open it up and look. I don't know if you can see it glistening there there we go but it's just covered in glitter and it's so pretty so we'll put that aside to dry and I found on my other one when I did it it really doesn't shed the glitter that that bad so I think it worked really well let's go ahead and do this one which is another Anna Griffin um, botanical Valentine so I'm gonna do this one with the toilet paper and with some tissue paper and I'm just gonna do basically the center. I'm just gonna keep layering these up and just make it the width of the toilet paper on this one because it's really close to the width of the embossing folder. Let's see how this one works. I kinda like that one. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So let me go ahead and get my toilet paper wet. And then I'm gonna try to place this like that. So I'm gonna push it down and then I'm gonna go back and add more water because I want it to grab and stay and not pull up when I lift it. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So then we have this. And you can just pull this away from it. Most of the time it comes right off. Occasionally you'll have a little spot or two that wants to stick. And then I'm just gonna lift this out. And there's your little glitter hearts. Okay, so let's do another one with a different tissue. Sometimes I will do my bottom layer of toilet paper and then I'll put a layer of tissue paper and then I'll go back with another layer of toilet paper if I don't want it quite so bright. So I don't really want a bright red. I'd rather kind of it be a subdued red. So I'm just going to do it like that. You could even layer another layer if you want. So let's try that. I haven't done two layers on top, so we'll see what it turns out like. All right, so let's run it through. Sometimes I have to come back and kind of dry off my, if I get it too wet. a little messy. It doesn't have to be this messy, but I tend to be messy. 
and sometimes water gets in my machine a little bit so I just watch it and anytime I see water seeping from it then I just dry it each between each use and that way there's no water um, you know just dripping in it and ruining it okay so we had to go a little thicker there and now as we open it you can see the red kind of comes through a little bit and just tones it that top layer just toned it down a little bit so I'm gonna pull the whole thing out since it's coming together and then I'll separate it later so that's gonna be really pretty there's another Anna Griffin one this is the Georgia lace and I'm gonna use the pink on this one so let me go ahead and spritz. And I'm gonna add my pink. And I just like to kind of tear it uneven. And that way, it looks more natural to me that way. I don't like the straight edges. I'll go back with my coffee dye and just see if we get a little bit of an edge look on that. Okay, so we close that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put me a couple more layers in here. you can see the pink very well with the shadow here's you know when it dries you'll actually be able to see the pink a little better it's pretty cool I wanted to do a polka dot one let's do one with this one and then I promise I'll quit this was by Gemini and let me see so this one I actually need to turn backwards because it's debossed if I leave it the other way. So I'm just going to kind of put toilet paper all over. Okay. And then it's it. And then I have a pink polka dot. see how that's gonna look without putting toilet paper on top you can kind of tell through here too when you do it that's a little bright so I think I'm gonna go back with another layer just to kind of tone it down a little bit and I kind of need to get these to where they won't overlap that much because you're gonna have definitely be able to tell it if it's on the top layer. Okay, so then I'm gonna still a little bright. Let's see if we can tone it down a little more. So I'm gonna go in the middle. Kind of go out from there. Okay. See what happens. Okay. So then we have this really pretty pink polka dot. So we kind of lightened it up. I think that's cute. It's different. So I'm gonna take this one. You see that good? Kind of cool. But you could use this polka dot on something that was not as busy of a pattern. Um, and I'm sure it would look cute on that too. Just play around with it and see what looks good with the embossing folders that you have. I'm not going to waste this toilet paper. I have all these little bits. So I'm going to see if I can make them work just by wadding them up on here. And spritzing them together. We'll see what happens. It may be a big old mess, but we're going to see what happens. I may have too much. And I'm gonna put some coffee down. 
Hey, it worked. So that's just with the leftover pieces. Wad it up and look what we ended up with. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did. I just love how all these turned out. There's so many different things that you can do with them. And I'm just glad that you were here today and that we got to spend this time together. So I hope that you will um, just enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy creating something beautiful. I will see you back here next time. God bless.